All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going here. Stop me off. Where'd it be to go? Have it a $1,000. Open it up. How to find over-the-counter tax liens for sale in Florida. Now, in my 30 years of doing this, I've had to remind every student that went to buy over-the-counter that you're probably going to have to explain what you want. Welcome back. This episode is a discussion on how to find over-the-counter tax liens for sale in Florida. Now, I'm also going to reveal the process of over-the-counter tax deeds. So I'm Ted Thomas. I've been involved in tax lien certificates and tax defaulted properties for over 30 years. I've been a guide, I've been an investor, and I've been an author. And I try to give you some insight into the over-the-counter tax liens and tax defaulted property. Contact the county tax collector's office and see if they have information, which they will. Number one, they'll give you auction rules and the website will show you a lot of information. Additionally, you want to find other online sources that tell you about tax lien certificates, which I do on many videos, and also on tax defaulted property. There's a world of difference between the two, but they both have over-the-counter sales, so you'll want to learn about those. Okay, now, the next thing you want to do, number three, of course, would be attend a tax lien auction. Now, you don't have to buy. You can attend online or offline. All right, so we have lots of videos that show you how to do that. But basically, you want to go to those auctions. It's free, doesn't cost you a lot of money, but you'll see what happens when properties don't sell. Now, the over-the-counter sales are properties that did not sell at the regular auction. In other words, they're leftovers. They're surplus of some kind that didn't sell at the regular auction. Tax lien certificates, sometimes they don't sell them all, and I'm tax deeds, go, almost always they don't sell there. them all. Now, this attracts a lot of attention. A lot of people speculate here, and I guess they're thinking because it's over the counter and there's not going to be a lot of bidding that they're just going to walk in and it's going to be like a pot of gold. But it's not. These are leftover properties, and this is more difficult than buying at the regular auction. That's for sure, and you need to learn how to research before you get involved in this. All right, so many people perceive this is going to be no competitive bidding. The competitive bidding took place and nobody bought the property. So that means it ended up at the county and it's going to be an over-the-counter sale. For sure, this process is simple, but I didn't say it was easy. It's simple, but I didn't say it was easy. Over-the-counter means it did not sell at the regular auction, whether it's a tax lien certificate or whether it's a tax deed. They both have over-the-counter sale in the state of Florida. They're always at the county. So you can go to the county records, you can go to the treasurer's office, and you can find out where these auctions are. If you bought over-the-counter in Florida, you'll buy the certificate, keeping in mind if you buy a tax lien certificate, you have no access to the property, you have no rights in the property, you buy the certificate, you only have rights to get interest on that certificate. Once the redemption period goes by in the state of Florida, then you notify the county that the property owner did not pay the taxes, and now there will be another auction. Anybody can attend that auction. So the process is a little complex in the state of Florida. However, if nobody buys at the second auction, you'll have the certificate, you can foreclose, and now you can resell that property for a profit. All right, so what's the difference? Tax lien certificates, you can only earn interest until you do the foreclosure. With tax defaulted property, that's a whole different ballgame. What does that mean? That means the property went to auction. Nobody purchased at the auction. So now the county takes it off the defaulted auction list and takes it to the county. They still want to sell the property. When they want to sell the property, they put it on over-the-counter sale. Anybody can go and buy at the over-counter sale. All right, you pay cash, you're going to get the property. So let's explain that sale so that you get it. The property owner, number one, did not want the property. So they let it go to auction. When they let it go to auction, they forfeited the property. At the auction, nobody has bid on the property. So if nobody bids on the property at this point, then it goes to the county. Now, at the county, they put it on another list, all right? Now, over-the-counter simply means that's a process which takes place. Buyer beware. That's what the county will tell you on over-the-counter or any auction. County auctions of tax lien certificates or tax defaulted properties are as-is auctions. That means the county will take no responsibility for the condition of the property. 
the county will not give you any warranty regarding the title or any defects in the title. Keep in mind, over-the-counter sales mean that the property has been rejected at the regular auction. In other words, this isn't something as a newcomer or someone that hasn't learned this business should be attending. These properties do have risk. Buyer beware. Now, in my 30 years of doing this, I've had to remind every student that went to buy over the counter that you're probably going to have to explain what you want. You can't walk in and say, I want over the counter. Over the counter is a process. It's a process. It's not the name of the property. Okay, it could be surplus lands. It could be forfeited lands. It could be strike off lands. There's many names for over the counter property. So people get confused about this. All right, so you're not, you're buying over the counter, which is a process taking place. You're not buying an over the counter property. You're buying a surplus land. You're buying a forfeited land. You're buying a property that's been struck off from the regular list. So you have to explain that to the county, whoever that individual is, you have to say, I want to buy property that was not sold at the auction. And if that person understands, they'll be able to help you. Otherwise, you'll have to do, as most of my students, you'll have to request that you talk to the treasurer. The treasurer will talk to you because they want to get rid of the property. All right, the treasurer will say, oh, we call it here in Texas, we call it struck off lands. If you're in South Carolina, they can say, oh, no, that's the forfeited lands commission. Okay, each one of these has a different name. Florida might call them surplus lands or leftover lands. Okay, they're not called over-the-counter lands. Over-the-counter is the process. Process simply means one person's on one side of the table, that's the county, and you're on the other side of the table, which is really a counter, and the two of you are negotiating. The county wants to sell, you want to buy. There's no bidding. There's no other bidding in the place. You're going to make them an offer. They'll either say yes or no, and if you buy a tax lien certificate that way, it's okay, or if you want to buy a tax defaulted property, it's okay. Big difference everyone needs to understand. A tax lien certificate only gives you rights to collect money. You do not have a right to the property. You do not have access to the property. You have to wait till the redemption period is finished. People buy tax lien certificates over the counter. Tax deeds means when you raise your hand at the auction, you're going to get a deed to that property. You'll own the property as soon as you have the deed to the property. You can buy those at regular auctions, county held auctions, and you can also buy them over the counter. Folks, I'm not an attorney at law. I'm not anything but a real estate investor and a guide to teach you how to do this. I'm just an author and a publisher, but most of all, I'm an investor and a guide to teach people like yourself how to do this. Over-the-counter auctions are simple to do, but I didn't say it was going to be easy. I'll finish up by telling you this. The county is going to issue a quit claim deed. And when they issue that quit claim deed, that means to you as a buyer that number one, the county is taking no responsibility for the condition of the tax lien certificate or the condition of a property. The county is also taking no position, no warranty on whether that title is clear and has no defects. So understand you're buying as is. The county takes no responsibility for the process. Now, one final thing. People make mistakes at these auctions. Don't buy a property unless you've had boots on the ground. In other words, you've got to look at the property. I don't know whether there was a hurricane. I don't know if there was a windstorm. I don't know if there was a fire. And you don't know whether there was either. And you don't know if it was next to a pig farm. So you don't want to buy a property unless you've had boots on the ground. Secondly, when you have boots on the ground, this is the biggest mistake people make. You need to survey the neighborhood. You're buying that property in a neighborhood. All right, now make sure that you understand that you'll be able to sell into that neighborhood. So you always want to look at that. So those are the two big mistakes. Look at the property and make sure you look at the neighborhood. I'm Ted Thomas. I'll see you in the next video.